A senior advocate of Nigeria, Ebolu Adeborua, has promised to respond at the appropriate time to the white paper released by the Lagos state government on the report of the NSAS Judicial Panel of Inquiry. The lawyer was a member of the panel, but he says none of the members was informed of the release of the paper. He also says none was given a copy. Mr. Deborua made his intention known in a statement titled, NSAS Panel Report, The Siege Is Over. In it, he accused the Lagos State Government of creating the wrong impression of financial impropriety against panel members to distract the public. Meanwhile, lawyer and activist Dele Faratimi, who was among those invited to participate in a peace walk, has declined the invitation. The point is this. From the beginning, the complicity of Jide Sonwolu as the governor of Lagos State was already established. We knew that he was complicit in the crimes that took place at that time. The complicity of the LCC, the operators of the franchise, was also clear to everybody who cared to look from day one. That uh, the Labour State government would set its lawyers in motion to seek to discredit the report that was lead was not a surprise. But when you begin to read the rather funny, long-winding address of the governor yesterday, you, I initially had hope as I was reading towards the end, where he now began to assemble and start dancing around, covering himself in big leaves and talking about higher ideals to which himself and all of the people do not subscribe. And then he sought the memories of all those who died. He wants to walk. Walk to where? And then it is Akim Odumosu, the one with the Black Maria at the toll gate that I'm supposed to be walking with. The one they call it, the, the, is it black, black, uh, white lion or, or black boots? That one too, I'm supposed to be working with him. The people I work with, the students who will not dare to walk on the street if they march on the streets of Lagos. He should call the empty Olu amount of this world. Let him call all those people that work with them. Adagosha, Tiosha. Those are the people you should call to come and walk. The people I work with, some of them are in Kirikiri. You lock them there. And then you are talking about the peace work. Look. This is rubble sought into injury. The insensitivity of the Nigerian ruling class and the Nigerian state is unbelievable. You have children in your own home that you monitor to. And there are people's children in Kirikiri. I know of a boy who has been before two judges of the Lagos State Bench. And they could not even fail. And at the end of the day, all that came out of the DPT was that they could be charged with a breach of the well, a breach of the um, court order. That was all they could be charged with, and they are still in prison. And this man is talking about a peace walk. The point. Well, reactions have trailed uh, celebrities' response to Governor Samuelu's walk for peace invitation. Activists say the celebrities may not be totally satisfied with the ton of events surrounding the NSAS movement, hence the outright rejection of the governor's idea. Plus TV Africa's Destiny Momo has more. I want for life, Falano, popularly called Faust. Musicians Folarin Falana Fowles and Sheung Kutsi and also comedian Debo Adebayo, Mr. Macaroni, have rejected the invitation of Lagos Governor Babajide Sanwolu to a peace walk for the healing of Lagos. To join me on this historic march for Abia Lagos. The trio, in their separate reactions, rejected the invitation. Mr. Macaroni said genuine peacemaking should begin by first implementing the recommendations of the panel. Fowles on his part described the walk of peace as a joke and a very disrespectful one at that. Sheung Kuti said he wants justice for all.
On our Plus TV breakfast show, Farouk Tumi Daily established an entrance of his peaceful workmates languishing in Kirikiri, which isn't supposed to be, hence his rejection to the governor's peaceful work invite. The people I work with, the students who will not dare to walk on the street if they march on the streets of Lagos. He should call the MCO Lomans of this world. Let him call all those people that work with them. Those are the people he should call to come and work. The people I work with, some of them are in Kirikiri. He lock them there. And then you are talking about the peace work. Look, this is rubble salt into injury. The insensitivity of the Nigerian ruling class and the Nigerian state is unbelievable. You have children in your own home that you monitor to, and there are people's children in Kirikiri. Achike Chuda, a renowned activist, says the celebrities are not satisfied with government's stance in the answers report. But he also says the government peace walk idea would have been perfect if certain measures have been achieved. The celebrities are not impressed with what the government has done with the white paper. So why would they be involved in a process that is not believing? And I think the celebrities have done the right thing because politics has taken over. Uh, you know, in terms of the, 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 the white paper that came out, it's your politics. So, so the celebrities are, are absolutely right. And they know the situation of them being identified with the government as it has. The government has not been truthful. These celebrities say all they want for the youth is full implementation of the report, which, according to them, will bring justice for the victims of police brutality. Destiny Momo for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.